Inbox segment part three. I'm not showing my face so I can get away with reading a script cause there's a lot to get through. From Scott VK5 FSKS asked, how big was the printed circuit board variable capacitor that I used for the fine adjustments? Well, Scott, it's about seven by six centimeter, though it should have been bigger because bigger would have given me a bigger range and a wider frequency swing. I could only cover 100 kilohertz of 40 meters, but I would have preferred 200 kilohertz or more. And Roth Shadow, still on magnetic loops, asked about the length of the coax cable capacitor. Well, coax is about one picofarad per centimeter, so a meter is 100 picofarad. Magnetic loop programs tell you how much capacitance you need, but always err on the side of higher capacitance or lower resonant frequency. You can find that with an antenna analyzer or a general coverage receiver tuning across for maximum noise. Then trim the capacitor until the frequency range is in the band you need. Marriott Autolink on magnetic loop SWR. Marriott couldn't get his loop down below three to one. My only suggestion is to move the gamma match around or if using a small inner coupling loop to squash and bend it so it's not a real circle. You might get a better match. And Colin VK2JCC asked, how low do I get the loop down in SWR? I get pretty close to one to one on all bands that mine covers. And definitely no more than 1.5 to one. And Flame Drag 18 includes some helpful comments about times. You have to be on air while the other people are as well. And this was in reference to making contacts over to the state's long path. Ricardo, on your body detuning magnetic loops when you're pedestrian mobile, well, you just have to be careful where you hold it. And you want a magnetic loop that you can easily tune from its operating position. So your extra capacitance is taken into account. Good luck to Electro Noob on passing his foundation license. Let's hope it happens. And we see videos from you, pedestrian mobile. Summer's coming up, so you've got no excuse. Den Monkey, yeah, for your benefit, I'm wearing different shorts and the weather is getting colder anyway. On the $15 USB camera, thanks to all for the helpful comments. Unfortunately though, I smashed mine trying to adjust the focus. So if you do open them up, be careful. The tri-band NFED half wave continues to get comments, especially the one with the coil. Colin VK2JCC asks why I needed it. Well, I needed it to get two or three bands out of the antenna. Otherwise, I would have needed to adjust an L match which when changing bands for contests is a bit of a pain. Although having said that, I did find that there was such a thing as a dual band L network developed by W7ZOI in the 70s. CW7KF's website. Still on that antenna, Barry Kent asks about the inductance of the coil. I didn't measure it, but it's around 30 or 40 microhenry. That video has quite a few links that give some helpful info. Much more recently, the Delta Loop on the pier was popular and lots of people loved No QR Beer! No QR Beer! Impossible! No QR Beer! That success can be yours also if you operate from great locations. Debesh on Crystal Radios, nothing special about the one I built and lots of designs on the web. But whatever you do, avoid the really simple Crystal Radios that don't have a tuning capacitor or they couple the antenna straight into the top of your tuning coil almost certainly your selectivity will be poor and all you hear will be a jumble if you hear anything at all. Eric VE3EAL asks about carbon fibre squid poles and if they detuned antennas. I can't say I've had a problem but I've mostly used them as antenna supports with the wire running across them rather than along them. If you were going to test it an interesting experiment might be to wave a carbon fibre squid pole near a magnetic loop or some other really sensitive tuned circuit. It may well detune it. WX9DX asked about QRP kits. I don't have a lot of experience as I've tended to build stuff from scratch. But whatever you do, don't get a silly crystal controlled two transistor milliwatt thing. You won't get many contacts and you'll be calling CQ for ages. Instead, get something frequency agile, at least two watts output and with a decent receiver. Even a good direct conversion receiver is okay, provided you're not into serious DXing. Back to Delta Loops and Tony G7OEM asked about comparing with the vertical antenna. 
That would be great. And maybe we should get a couple of guys on the beach with different antennas and FT817s to do a comparison. Maybe even in the middle of winter where there's not too many other people and dogs to share the beach with. M0DAD wanted to know what pier I was operating from. It was Seaford Pier, a few kilometres south of here. It's a nice and long timber pier with timber balustrades, which are wire loop friendly. WX9DX, the BFO is on 7 MHz input, i.e. the signal frequency. In actual fact I'm using a 3.58 MHz ceramic resonator, taking the second harmonic. As for using the NU602, why use one when you can use a cheaper diode and discrete transistors? PC Comp wanted a parts list for the Beach 40 double sideband transceiver. It's just occurred to me that a parts list from a schematic actually teaches you to read the diagram closer and to understand it. Start off with a blank sheet of paper listing the major categories of components, i.e. resistors, capacitors, transistors, diodes, crystals and inductors should be a good start. Go across the circuit left to right and fill in your parts list as you go. Ton kindly wondered whether I could get away with a ground stake instead of radials along the beach sand. Maybe I could, but as measured the other day, beach sand has significant resistance, so I think I'll stick with the radials. And finally, Paul Pepper was concerned about the welfare of my FT817 amongst the sand on the beach. Your message did encourage me to grab the vacuum cleaner and suck the sand out. And no, I'm not concealing any stories about the 817 being damaged with sand. That's been in box part 3. Part 4 will follow in a couple of months. Leave your comments on this or subsequent videos to feature in it.